What's up, y'all? This is Tom, and this is Like a Math Class. In this video, we're going to talk about inflation and the real value of investments. What that means is inflation is how money uh, changes over time, and the real value is what is what is a future or a past dollar amount uh, in terms of today's money in, t in terms of what we understand it to be today. Inflation is often discussed in terms of a fixed item uh, that has not changed over time. A gallon of milk, a loaf of bread, um, or in my case, a Hershey bar. Uh, this is my, my treat of choice. I grab a Hershey bar and uh, some peanut butter and I smear them together. It's delicious. You should check it out if you haven't. Uh, it's such a guilty pleasure that this one's actually half gone already. Um, but when I was a kid, when I was, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe seven or eight, I can't remember how old exactly I was, but when I was little, little enough where I could ride to the, 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 the drugstore down the street from my house, I would go and I would buy a candy bar. That candy bar, that Hershey's bar was 35 cents. And now today, that same Hershey bar uh, is about $1.25. So the recipe hasn't changed. The size of the candy bar has not really changed much in over that time. Maybe it's a touch bigger now, uh, but really it hasn't changed much over that time. But the cost of that Hershey's bar has changed considerably. And that's, in, that's because of inflation, the increase of that cost of the item over time. Um, now, calculating inflation is very much like uh, calculating uh, compound interest. Inflation is typically discussed in average annual rates. Average annual rates. And it's given as a percentage and we would, if we wanted to calculate something, uh, the value of something based on inflation, we would take our amount of whatever it is that we're talking about and we would uh, multiply it by uh, the inflation rate one plus the uh, the inflation rate, inflation rate uh, as a decimal, right? And to the number of years that we're talking about. Now, I'm trying to do this as much justice as I can, uh, but if you uh, are not quite getting everything you need from this video, I suggest you check out my friend Brad Cartwright's uh, YouTube channel, bradcartwright.com as well. He's, he is uh, an economics teacher and he is phenomenal and I, I highly recommend him. If you haven't already checked him out, go over and check out his website as well. I'll link it, I'll link his YouTube channel in the description below as well. Brad would definitely, uh, I'm sure he would have some things to say about how I'm describing this. Maybe he would say I'm okay. I don't know. Um, the value in real terms is what is that worth in today's dollar? Because that's what we know. Trying to understand what is a 35 cent Hershey bar, that's really hard to kind of wrap our head around. So we try to adjust it for today's value. And that's what we call uh, real terms. The value in real terms is what we would consider today's purchasing power uh, or in today's economy. Let's take a look at an example and see what this means as we adjust this. What we say is the real value, the real value uh, times inflation is equal to our future value. If we've got something today and we know that there's going to be inflation over time, that's going to be what our value is in the future. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at an example here. This example says Andy is planning on putting $2,000 in an investment fund that has average growth 5.4% per annum compounded semi-annually and the average inflation where Andy lives is 3% per year. So uh, what is the value of the investment after four years, not considering inflation? That's just saying that Andy wants to put some money in a bank and she wants to know how much it's going to be worth after four years. Cool. So we're just going to do a compound interest calculation. I'm going to use the geometric sequence function where we had our future value is equal to our principal, principal, where it's going to be equal to our principal times our uh, rate and to the uh, nth power. And remember, when we did this, this was the number of compounding periods. And so in our case, the number of compounding periods 
is going to be uh, semi-annually, semi-annually, so that's two times per year for four years. So we're going to compound it eight times in that year. So here N is going to be eight. In this case, our interest rate is 5.4%, but we always uh, make our interest rate one plus 0.054. Oh, wait, but our interest rate is per year. Our interest rate is 5.4% per year, but we have to divide that into two. So converting it to a decimal, 0.054 divided by two is going to be equal to 0.027. So our rate is going to be one plus 0.027. And then finally, our principal in this matter uh, for Andy is $2,000. So the future value that Andy will have uh, after four years is going to be 2,000 times 1.027 raised to the power of 8. So let's see what Andy would have. 2,000 times 1.027 raised to the power of 8. And we get $2,475.10. That is a lot of Hershey bars. Andy's going to be very happy. But here's the problem. That $2,475 is getting reduced because inflation is reducing the, the value of that dollar over time. So she's not actually, she's gonna have $2,475 in her pocket, but when she goes out to buy something, it's gonna be adjusted for inflation. If on average in the past that inflation is 3% per year, this value is gonna go down 3% per year. So the real value times the inflation rate is gonna be equal to her future value. So she's expecting to get $2,475.10, but she wants to know what is, what is that in terms of today's purchasing power? If I had to think of that 2,000, what is that gonna be today? So the real value times the inflation rate which uh, which is just done annually. We never we never do that semi-annually. And this is just an average, right? This is an average inflation rate because who knows? Maybe a pandemic will pop up and inflation will go through the roof or uh, it will drop. You know, who knows what will happen? So we're just saying on average, it happens 3% per year. So that's going to be 1.0344 years. So to find the real value for this, what is this in terms of today's dollars? We would have to divide both sides of the equation by 1.03 to the fourth power. So, and so let's see what Andy's value is in terms of today's dollars. So $2,475.10, and we're gonna divide it by 1.03 to the fourth power. And this is what Andy's value is actually going to be in terms of today's money, $2,199.09. So um, yes, she will have $2,475 in the future, but that will be worth uh, what she knows as today of $2,199.09. I hope that helps, uh, helps you understand inflation and real value. And I will talk to you in the next video after you hit the like button. I'll see you then.